Hey guys, this is Cameron and welcome back to Motion Science. In this video, I'm going to talk to you very quickly about an expression that I love to use all the time on a good majority of my projects. That expression is the wiggle expression and I use it in a slightly different way. I use it on the opacity channel. Let me show you what I mean. So in this image, what I want to accomplish is I want to create a flicker effect on these two light bulbs. And I'm going to do that by using the wiggle expression. So let me show you how. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to go to effect blur. And I'm going to go with the compound blur. What I'm doing here first is I'm creating a glow effect, a very simple glow effect. So this image I'm working with is very high res. So I'm gonna have to increase the amount of blur quite high. So I don't know, that probably works around 220. I'm also gonna create a mask. And then I'm going to make this mask a little longer vertically. And I'm doing that because if you, if I turn this layer off, I like how this filament is you know, very vertical uh, instead of proportionally vertical and horizontal. So I'm creating the mask to emulate the more vertical oblong shape. So I'm going to turn this layer back on. I'm going to go to set the mode to screen. And there you go. There's our very simple glow. I'm also going to feather the edges here quite high. Maybe around there. And I'm going to go ahead and drag out sides of the mask. Somewhere in there. And then I'm going to drop the opacity of this layer down to about 68%. So now we have a nice soft glow on this front light bulb. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that layer and I'm going to take the mask. I'm going to scale it down. So it covers this bulb back here. Maybe make it a little bit wider. And actually a little bit taller. Like so. And because this bulb's more in the background, I'm going to drop its opacity to about half. And I'll just to keep things tidy, I'll drop it below. So this is the foreground bulb. And this is the background bulb. And this is the original image. So how do I make these flicker? Well, it's real simple. Like I said, I use the wiggle expression. So I alt or option click on the Mac on the opacity. I type in wiggle parentheses 10 comma 20. In parentheses and then I hit enter on the keyboard and for those of you who don't understand expressions I want the frequency to be 10 times per second at a rate amplitude of 20 which 20 has to do with the opacity here so since I, I was set originally to what was it 69 percent opacity I'm saying you can go up by to 89 percent or as low as 49 percent so it's a factor of 20. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the background layer. Wiggle, parentheses. And because this is a little bit further in the background, I'm gonna make the frequency a little less. So let's make it seven times per second. And 20. But remember, the opacity on this layer was set to about half of what the top layer was, 32%. So 
So it's going to go up to 52% or all the way down to 12%. So instead of hitting enter, I'm just going to click outside the expression this time to enable it. And now when I do a preview, you can see the flickering effect taking place. And that's what I've got for you today. It's a really simple flicker glow effect with the wiggle expression. Uh, I use this all the time on projects to make lamps or candles or lights or, or whatever. Any type of light source have a slight flicker to it. It just adds a little subtle subtlety to the, to the light effect. It can be a quicker flicker. It can be a slower flicker. Um, whatever it is for your taste, but uh, it's, it works really well. And like I said, I use it all the time. So that's what I've got for you this week. I hope you learned something new. Please like, comment below. Until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science. Motion Science.